Yeah, sorry, everyone, this is Ian. Ian! <laughs> Nia Bardalis turned her real life wedding into a cultural phenomenon. Ah, the pensive bride. Look at me, what lays ahead? More like I'm probably thinking, here's the thought bubble. How can I make some money off this wedding? She produced a one-woman show of the same name, garnering some high-profile fans. This all came about because of an ad that was like that big in the, yeah. was it LA, the LA, LA Times? Times. Was like, yeah, the Just by the title, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, I thought that, that, I've gotta go see something called My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Mia's story had the stars flashing back to their own wedding. Maybe some cultures specialize in throwing good parties at different sort of like holidays and family occasions. You don't do bad with a Greek wedding, man. You know, it's, no. a, it's a pretty fun thing. But I think what Tom's leaving out is that he actually picked up a table in his mouth and danced around with it. Actually, it was a chair. I did pick up a chair with my teeth. It was a table. Was it a table? Yes, it was. That's how much fun we were it having. It was a table. I can't May I please date your daughter? No! For John Corbett, 2002 was his year for on-screen proposals. God, that's such a beautiful ring. I've asked quite a few women to get married this year in the in the movies and TV. Finally, one said yes. Hey, Angelo. Hey, Ian. We're gonna kill you. <laughs> Opa. The more bizarre it is in the movie, the more likely it is to be actually pulled from my true life. Like the Windex. I woke up the wedding of the morning and had a huge zit on my cheek. Hello, ladies. Fresh baklava. Following a soft debut in the spring, My Big Fat Greek Wedding gained enormous momentum that summer, thanks to some unprecedented word-of-mouth buzz. And in total, it grossed over $350 million at the box office worldwide. We would have been happy at $5 million, so this is already, you know, beyond our wildest expectations. We're just shocked and surprised. I'm just happy that everybody's having a good time, they're enjoying it, and it's bringing some laughter into people's lives. What I thought was going to happen is it would be released in theaters and make like its budget back and then go to video and, you know, be shown in church basements for the rest of my life. Ian is a vegetarian. He doesn't eat meat. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I make lamb. I really think that because Greek people, surprising to everybody to hear this, actually know other people than Greeks, told other people, and I think that really helped word of mouth. <laughs> While the movie's TV adaptation was canceled after one season, its popularity endured. And 14 years later, the cast reunited on the big screen. These are the colleges I'm applying to. Why do you want to leave me? <coughs> Payback. I think it's kind of extraordinary that we got the entire cast back together again. And Nia wrote a script that was the right script for the, this time in life. So I think that the sequel actually has a real authenticity to it. And it's damn funny. The Parthenon wasn't built in a day, you know? <laughs> That's right. Takes time.